Well, it's happened quite a lot now. Police deputies are a trooper in hot pursuit here. And right now you're looking at video from a chase that ended in a crash from 2012. But chases like these, again, they seem to be happening every day. In fact, statistics show there's a death almost every day in the U.S. stemming from the 35,000 annual police pursuits. Like the one yesterday in Anderson County, where 22-year-old Josh Martin, an innocent bystander, lost his life. 7 News reporter Nicole Ford looked into how families of these bystanders are impacted. Nicole? Yeah, Diane, the statistics here are really quite astonishing. One study reports crashes stemming from police pursuits killed 323 people each year. That's more than the number of people killed by floods, tornadoes, lightning, and hurricanes combined. About 85 of those lives lost are innocent bystanders. Anytime you see these high-speed chases and you hear of deaths, you relive that moment when you took that call and when someone called you and told you that your brother had been killed in a wreck. It's, just, it's the day you'll never forget. It was February 18, 2016. It's just changed our lives. Greenville deputies were serving warrants when the suspect jumped in his car and took off towards Powdersville. I actually was at a stoplight and was pulling out when the individual who was being chased by police from, from Greenville County to Anderson County was killed right on 153. Inside that car was Amy and Brenda's brother, Steve Burnett. Now a year and a half after his death, the pain his family felt that day never goes away. I can't explain the feeling. It's just something that it's there and will always be there when you see these speeds and you see these, these innocent victims being killed by high-speed chases for no reason. So they are looking for answers, not just for their family, but for families of innocent bystanders across the country. Why this had to happen and why it went on so long and, and why the, the public was put at risk in this. The other things we look in these cases and what we're looking at in ours is, was the public properly notified that there was a chase even going on? Were there sirens on? Were there blue lights flashing? Were there things that put the public on notice? Well, a report by the International Association of Chiefs of Police says 91% of all police pursuits are over nonviolent crimes. Mills Ariel says this is where the problems arise. Should police chases even begin if the public's not in immediate danger? Never leaves you. You live in fear. It's just such trauma that you go through. Now the suspect in Burnett's case, Dexter Reeves, he's actually behind bars in Columbia awaiting his trial. He was charged with vehicular homicide. Wow. Well, it seems like from this that it all comes down to is it worth the risk? And the point that the mother there was, was making is that many of these chases may not be worth the risk. But what, what did the department policies say? Is there no, I suppose there's no universal policy there? Well, it differs by department, and I did reach out to a few departments today. Unfortunately, I didn't hear back on what their policies were, but I am told that they do review it at least once a year. Okay. All right. Well, Nicole, thank you for that report.